What's up guys, Melek here, and today we're back in action playing some games. Today we're checking out Sarion. So, uh, I checked out this, I actually had an interview with the devs, which I'll link down below. Uh, the interview with the devs was about a year ago. We, it's about an hour long. It's, it's a pretty good interview or whatever. Uh, but anyways, I, I backed the project on Kickstarter. We finally have the pre-release demo, and I like the title screen. Like, it looks really good. Anyways, uh, we got three different options here. We have player interaction. We have NPC observation. We have environment showcase. Now, I'm going to check out all of these. I haven't played much with the game. I kind of want to be uh, surprised with you guys. Also, I'm getting a stable uh, 60 FPS on this, which is pretty good. I don't know if it's capped at 60 FPS or what. Um, actually, this is my recording FPS is like 45. That's kind of weird. Okay, so uh, looks like we're a raptor here, um, and we are fighting another raptor. Now, let's get a quick, can we zoom in? Oh, yeah, we can zoom in, guys. Look at this. Uh, we have three little bars over on the right, which I'm guessing is probably uh, food, water, and then health. I'm not sure where our stamina bar is. Here, let's see if we actually can see our stamina bar. Oh, I see. So the circle is the stamina bar. Okay. And does that show like a little heartbeat as well, maybe? I'm not sure. I thought it showed a heartbeat. But yeah, that's a stamina bar right there. But yeah, this guy looks pretty good. Um, I do have a feeling uh, since uh, all the dinosaurs are supposed to be kind of like scientifically accurate in this game. Uh, that the dinos are probably gonna look pretty good. I'm not sure about the environments I've seen some updated pics and it definitely seems like it's going to be a pretty game um, uh, Dude look at this guy man. This guy is very pretty look at him now I think we can go ahead and attack this guy. So that's a bite seems like there's no sounds Yeah, I don't think there's sounds not that I can hear anyways And then let's actually look at the controls real quick to see so space is jump bite balance right mouse right, right mouse button is balance and shift is sprint Okay, so jump and disengage so we have, oh, I see, and then we can, oh, it's a packy. Okay, yeah, so we got a packy right here. Oh, and then we do make him limp? Oh, no, we didn't. Okay, he's headbutting me. <laughs> he's headbutting the crap out of me. Uh, then I don't think there's eating or anything in this game yet. Is there eating? Wait, what is he doing? No, there's no eating. Uh, not, not that I can tell anyways. Yeah, there's no eating. So we don't have to worry about food or water right now, or maybe there is eating, actually. Maybe if I just bite, it'll eat, possibly. I'm kind of curious what balance. Oh, we could actually the body's ragdoll. That's very interesting. Oh, that's actually really cool. <laughs> I can see having a lot of fun in the physics if the body's ragdoll. That's actually really neat. Um, I don't know what balance is necessarily. Maybe if you walk on a log or something. I'm not sure. Uh, it seems pretty fast, so that's pretty good. Now, I wish we could select different creatures, but let's go ahead and return to the main menu here. And then let's check out one of these other options. Okay, so we have NPC Observation and Environment Showcase. So this is where we actually get to see the world. So let's go do NPC Observation. Okay, so it seems like we're in a test world right now. And look at this. So you can go inside the water. Oh, that's kind of cool. I like the water. Then if you exit out of it, yeah, you got the whole, you know, water effect or whatever. Uh, we have some little guys right here. Oh, look how adorable he is, dude. He's so cute, man. Uh, I'm sorry for moving around really fast. The camera's kind of fast. Oh, and look, there's a big guy right there. That's the same guy we played as. This guy right here is adorable, though, man. He's so cute. He's so cute. Oh, look over here. Okay, is this a trike? Oh, guys, look at this. We got a trike over here. Oh, is he eating? I think he's eating one of these plant blocks right here. Oh, this is nice, dude. Okay, so let's uh, let's let's go. Oh, he's going down to the water. Looks like they were drinking. And then does this guy not care anything about this guy? Let's see what he does when he actually gets uh, close to the trike here. Okay, it looks like he wants nothing to do with the trike there. So let's go ahead and come all the way over here. I'm, I'm curious to see if we can see like a, a Rex or something. Oh, dude. Okay, another little guy. We got some more little guys right here. And then we got a Packy over here. Oh, guys, I see a Rex. I think I see, I see a Rex right here. Oh, yeah, guys, it's a Rex all the way over here. Okay, so this is the Feathered Rex. This guy is a beast, man. Look at him. Look how cool he looks. Okay, so is he... I want to see him, like, attack something, man. I want to see him, like, completely just demolish something. But it looks like he's not going to be... He's not going to be demolishing anything anytime soon. I'm not sure, though. Dude, what are you doing, man? <laughs> Here, let's, uh... Here, let's just... I'm going to follow him around for a little bit to see if he actually attacks something. Oh, it looks like he already did attack something because there's a dead, uh... Oh, no, that's a dead Rex. Did he drown? Oh, he's swimming! Look at him swim! Look at him swim. Is he? Oh, he's eating the pot. Oh, look, he has a piece of meat. Why are you? Why are you cannibalizing your Rex friend, man? That's so sad. Why would you do that? 
<laughs> Why would you do that, man? That's, that's not very nice. That's not what you're supposed to do to your family. That guy was your family, man. Um, I want to see. I'm going to follow him around for a little bit. Let's see if we can get him over here to the strike somehow. Oh, yeah. Hey, no, no, no. Head back. I want to, I want to have at you. Why can't I possess your soul and then we can go kill this trike over here? Yeah, come right over here, dude. Now, I'm assuming in the game, they're not just going to attack randomly. They're probably going to have individual hunger values and stuff like that. So whenever you uh, at, at encounter them in the wild or if you're observing them or observing them or whatever you're doing, uh, you know, they're not always going to be killing things. You know, they're going to have like hunger values. And if they actually get hungry, they'll probably weigh the risk and reward of fighting something. Of course, Rexes are, are, are freaking monsters or beasts, right? So they're probably going to have no problem uh, attacking most creatures. But you know, like the trike here. It might be like, am I the, am I hungry enough to attack the trike? See, I'm not exactly sure what's all going to be in the game. But I'm assuming it's going to be at least a little in-depth here. Um, I'm taking some pictures as well just because I think it's pretty cool. Okay. Okay, he's coming over here. They're getting decently close to each other. Okay, so the Rex actually came back and he ate some food from his little uh, his brother there. And I guess he's been drinking some water and stuff as well. I don't think I'm going to get them to fight. Uh, we're going to go ahead and check out the last piece. I don't think there's any other creatures here that I can see really. Nah, I think that's pretty much it. So yeah, we got so we got some more trikes over here. Okay. Yeah, uh, kind of like a little mini herd of them. And I think that's pretty much it, possibly. Okay, so last thing we're going to check out is it the environment showcase. So let's go ahead and click on this. And I'm assuming uh, this is going to be in, yeah, environments without any wildlife inside. Oh no, we're, we're actually in here. Okay, so this is actually the game right here. And my recording FPS is so low, man. I don't know why. Hopefully, it's not choppy for you guys. Uh, the video FPS, like the game's running at 60, but the recording FPS is so low. I don't know why. Normally, it doesn't do stuff like that. It's very weird. Certain games do. It depends on the game, really. Okay, guys. So, I just checked the footage. Uh, this is definitely going to be choppy, even though it's butter, butter smooth for me. So, something to do with my recording software. I've had this problem in the past, but I'm not exactly sure how to fix it. And I apologize. I could try recording this with OBS, but right now, since I moved... By the way, yeah, I just moved to Florida. I just had internet turned on, and um, that, that's why there's been no videos. But something with OBS doesn't record audio. So, I'm not sure. I'm trying to figure it out right now. I'm having problems. <laughs> so, that's what sucks about moving your equipment and changing your setup or whatever. Is things kind of get uh, screwed up. But yeah, I apologize. This is going to be choppy. Uh, it's definitely not choppy in game. I'm getting a smooth 60 FPS. Um, and yeah, so the environments look really good. I think the the water here looks really good. Let's um, let's head over to this. Oh god, I'm swimming. Oh god, I'm swimming so slow. <laughs> I'm swimming so slow. Also, I noticed there's no like health or hunger or water meter or stamina meter, even though you do still run out of stamina in the in the bottom right. So I'm not sure. Also, I wish you could change creatures somehow. Now, caps lock, toggle, trot. Okay, so you can actually trot and then sprint. Okay, that's very interesting. Okay, let's go ahead and get across the water and I'll try that out. What was that? I just heard a noise. Like a crocodile or something, man. Being in Florida, that's all I think about now is crocodiles. It's like, no, they're going to eat me, dude. Okay, so let's do caps lock and that should... Doesn't do anything? What? Why? No, I'm pressing tab. That's why. Here, caps lock. There we go. Okay, so you got three different movements. Uh, you got a walk, a kind of like a trot, and a sprint, which is pretty cool. Oh, guys, look at this. This is so beautiful, man. This is definitely a very pretty game. Definitely a really, really pretty game. Um, it's definitely going to be pretty once everything's in. You know, you have other creatures and all that kind of stuff. It looks good, man. I like the shadows. I like the water. The water's very swampy. Uh, which is good, I guess. I don't know. Um, and I don't think any of the creatures are around. I think this is just a demo that you kind of walk around in. I wish you didn't swim so slow. I feel like you swim extremely slow, man. And I'm completely out of stamina. There we go. And we jumped. Now, jumping is a little weird. I hope they make it more... Um, what's the word for it? Uh, like, precise? Like, if the jumping feels weird because you don't jump whenever you press the button. So, I mean, eventually you would learn, like, the timing right, but... Dude, I'm not sprinting at all, man. Maybe I need to... Re Let me rest up some stamina real quick. Okay, so I've regained some stamina. Let's actually try out a jump test here. Yeah, it's... I I'll tell you guys when I press it. I'm pressing it now. And that's how long the delay is right now. Not right now. So, it doesn't feel exactly... I mean, he jumps decently fast after you press it. It's just a little weird because the stamina is a little weird. Um, they do not have very much stamina at all, uh, which... 
feel like they would have more. I mean, the prehistoric creatures, right? I mean, I know humans. Humans are endurance runners, man. We're sp uh, supposedly have like some of the greatest stamina known to the world. Um, but I feel like dinosaur creatures, uh, you know, raptors and stuff, they should be able to run for a while. That I mean, they can. That's that's all not. That has nothing to do with the game, really. But. Anyways, this has been Sarion. If you guys enjoyed and you want to see more, make sure to smash the like button. Uh, this is just a demo. Like I said, uh, this is, you know, not, I don't even think they're ready to release for a while. I have no idea. I haven't talked to them in a bit, so I have no idea. Uh, but I'm assuming they're probably going to come to early access on Steam. I can't remember exactly what they're going to do. Um, the uh, information's on their Kickstarter and stuff and also their Steam page. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to smash the like button. I'd really appreciate it. It helped me out tremendously, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, yeah, and I briefly just want to give you some footage of me running uh, like this right here. You know, just actually, let's uh, let's jump off. Let's jump off this. Let's, jump, let's see if we can, like, break a bone or something. Then, eh, eh. <laughs> okay, so we didn't break a bone. That's actually pretty good. That's pretty smooth. I like running up close like this. It seems like we're actually part of the wild. You know, it's a little more immersive. Like we're actually on the hunt. We're on the prowl. We shall take down any fool. Who attempts to approach us? Even the mighty T-Rex shall be, f be f fall to my my mighty claws and teeth. I shall take him to his eternal slumber, or something. I don't know. <laughs> bye, bye.